We talk about retro games a lot. I guess it has something to do with the classic in the name. But Supercharged Robot Volkaiser manages to be retro without being a retro game, so to speak. Retro games, as a concept, seek to refine or develop existing genres with new ideas, usually with low-rent, pixel-heavy graphics. It's an easy way in for a developer with a new idea. It's a quick way to get your game and your name out there. As such, we're flooded with it. But this isn't a retro game. It's retro because it aims for and hits squarely a very specific aesthetic. Old 1970s anime with the appropriate character designs, combining robot concepts, an overblown world in peril plot complete with a feminine evil overlord. Or, more specifically, the nostalgic reflection of this aesthetic by otaku approaching middle age on DVD. Just look at the subtitles. There's not much plot to Volkaiser past the attack of a great evil, just as there wasn't much plot to many of those old series either. You're there to see a giant robot combined with another giant robot, do some fighting in rubber suits, and then take on the monster or giant enemy robot of the week. Rather than an Ultraman-style brawler, Volkaiser takes to the skies in a side-scrolling bullet-hell shmup that suffers primarily from its short length. You can combine with four other units, controlled by the four members of the party who don't wear red, to modify your firing pattern mid-stage. There's a needle unit for improved firing at 45s to the craft, a rocket unit that maintains a constant forward barrage of ordnance, a thunder unit with a widespread electrical attack, and a drill unit for short-range persistent combat. Each of these gets a special attack once charged up and further acts as a damage sponge for your craft. The unit goes offline permanently if used recklessly, though, so judicious and varied use are called for. Mechanically, supercharged robot Volkaisers is sound of bullet hells I've played in some time, with responsive controls and smooth action. However, while the gameplay is sound, the presentation stays... well, retro. Your choice for resolution is 4x3, 480p, because you're watching this on DVD, remember? You can full screen the action, you probably should, else you'd be stuck trying to dodge tiny projectiles and protect your tiny hitbox on a tiny, tiny playfield. I can understand how such an understated design works for the very particular feeling they're going for, but in a genre built upon big showy effects and intense action, it can feel like a jarring departure. The soundtrack, similarly, isn't much to write home about, consisting mostly of samey MIDI variations on the title theme. But it's not like you're going to be hearing too much of it anyway. If things aren't exploding, you're probably not doing this whole bullet hell thing correctly. Look, we're talking about a small game on Steam. I didn't come in expecting Dust or Freedom Planet or some overblown production. You can have a small, very focused game that manages to hit all of the right buttons. As I mentioned before, my issue with Volkaiser is that well, there should be at least 13 stages, right? Maybe as many as 26. You want a full season of this nonsense for binging purposes. Despite the limitations, despite the presentation, more accurately, because of the presentation, you want to keep playing this goofy old-school monstrosity for hours, learning how to slalom through this Saturday morning hellscape as safely as possible. Just watch out for Steam announcements. 480p means those things take up a huge chunk of real estate. 